Hi guys, it's Suzanne here. So today we're going to do a little yoga session and we're going to have a little play around with our handstands. Uh, if you've caught any of my previous videos, you may have noticed there's usually a mirror there. I thought I'd take it away because we're going to be using uh, the wall to help us. So uh, I'm guessing you've got a wall nearby if you're in the garden or out in the park, uh, find a tree <laughs> or something. Um, yeah, so just get yourself near a wall. We're not going to need it to start with, uh, but it's something that you can place your feet into. So I'm just hanging on to give you a, give you a chance to work that one out. <laughs> okay. Uh, also grab yourself some some water if if you don't have any. Let's come to start in child's pose. And you can sit back on your heels, knees, you can be together or it's uh, a little more comfortable with the knees wider. And we're going to soften down here. So take a nice deep breath in and let it go. taking this time to to settle so let go of whatever you've been up to in the day Become aware of how you're breathing. to one side. And as much as possible keep the, the bottom of your seat bones glued to your heels and we'll take a few breaths here. Now let us open up the other side. Walk the hands over. <clears throat> To center and then slowly uncurl. Bring the knees together. If this isn't comfortable for you, you could sit with your legs crossed and it's going to bring the hands onto your shoulders. And breathe in and breathe out. Just really getting your, your shoulders moving. the arms down and you're going to rotate through your wrists and the other way and you bring some movement into your elbows as well so just getting all, all of the joints and moving okay and then you're going 
come to all fours and let's just start to mobilize the spine so in and out of your cat exhaling and in And you can either have the toes tucked under or you could rest on the tops of your feet. And then tuck your toes under. Coming to dog down, start with the knees bent. Allow the head to hang. And then extend back through one heel, one leg back. And the other. So just repeat that a few times. Just gradually, gradually lengthening through through your hamstrings. Um, if they're screaming at you today, just keep the knees bent. Yeah. Keep the back nice and straight. And space here to the shoulders are moving, if you can see this, away from each other. Quite often this happens, they roll in. So we're aiming to create space in the body, so out and back. And then float one leg up. Let the knee bend. And you're going to step through to a lunge. Check your knee and ankle are in line. And then just have a little shift forwards and back. You can also work on your knee. Yeah. So we're not going to hold the lunge static. You're just lengthening. Extend through the heel so you feel a nice stretch here. I know you're probably thinking, you mentioned handstands, what are we doing stretching out the legs? But <laughs> you'll, you'll find out because we, when we start working with our half handstands, we want to create a, a right angle and quite often when we, the hamstrings are, are quite tight, it's more challenging to create the right angle with, with straight legs and keep the back nice and straight. So there's a reason for us. <laughs> Spending a little bit of time stretching out here. And then you're going to exhale, step back to dog down. Float the other leg up. Find your way to your lunge. You can come onto the knee, stay with the knee lifted. If the foot's not quite made it, just move it, move it forwards. And have a little shift around. Okay, you might want to work with the legs straight. Also, just clock whether this side's any different. Place your palms flat, exhale all the way back to dog down. And from dog down, we are going to exhale to our plank. You can work here in your plank as well. Whichever variation you're working on, navel's drawing back, keep the crown of the head drawing forwards. Nice strong arms. If you tend to really hyperextend in your elbow joints, think of bending them very slightly. Yeah. And back to dog down. And then we're going to exhale to dolphin posture. So you're placing both the forearms down together. You can bend the knees here. 
and steady. Just go a couple of rounds. <coughs> and it's not one forearm and then the other. Nice strong arms. And with control, you're tucking the elbows in as you lower and pushing back up to, to dog down. Okay, and then have a little rest. You can bring your arms back. And let your shoulders relax for the moment. And then up. If you feel it at all in the wrists after those planks, just bring a bit of movement back in. And then you're going to come to your wall or your tree. I'm just going to move the map out of the way. You don't really need, to need a map. And we want to get the correct distance from the wall. So we want to be exactly a leg's distance from the wall. So if you come to sit, place your feet into the wall. You've got that distance, so you want your hands where you're sat, where your seat bones are. So turn around, place your palms flat. Okay, I was just laughing because the little sweaty handprints on the floor. At least I know where I need to place my hands. <laughs> okay, and we're going to come into dog down, but it'll be a very short dog down because very narrow, so we'll, we'll keep the knees bent. And you're going to start by focusing on lifting your bottom or your seat bones as high as possible. So really lengthening through the spine. Now to get them nice and high, lift your heels as high as you can. Right, you've got like really high heels on. And then just have a little rest. Walk the hands back, hang down in Uttanasana. And then. Come back. So like I say, I'm just going to start building this and um, going in stages. And I know some of it can feel quite strong. So if you just want to go back to your plank and focus on that stability, please do that. Yeah. Or you can stay working at any at any stage. So now we place the palms flat. We've lifted our bottom nice and high. And you're going to step. I just realised I went for a walk around the park earlier, and my feet are really filthy, and I'm probably going to get filthy footprints on the walls, but I hope not, anyway. I should have thought about that before I started this. So, you've got nice solid foundations. Your head is hanging, you're lengthening through the spine. You're gonna place one foot into the wall and then the other. Now, please start with the knees bent and you're aiming to get the bottom nice and high. Then, gradually, you can play around with straightening the legs. But if you straighten the legs and you find your back round, come back to working with bent legs. And then have a little rest. You might want to just rest the forehead down in child's pose. So we want to create a really good right angle. So often, or the majority of the time, we're actually too far out. Uh, when our pelvis is directly aligned over our shoulders, it almost feels like we're going to topple into the centre of the room. So you might need to bring your hands back a little bit. Also, there's part of us, a little fear <laughs> that, that creeps in. It's like, I'm going to, I'm going to fall. But you'll be okay. You'll be okay. <laughs> right. So nice, solid foundations. Create that nice lift through the spine. One foot and the other foot. The other thing I'm going to say is we're not walking the feet up here, yeah? At the moment, we want that nice right angle. And now you've got the option of just playing around, or you can keep the other leg bent, with extending one leg up. And then the other. Make sure you're breathing. Yeah, so this other leg can be bent, remember? Mm, when you need a rest. Have a rest here. In Uttanasana, all come to child's pose. And then slowly oh, come up. <laughs> if you feel a little dizzy, just stay resting a little longer. 
So now you can work in your half handstand. You can work in your half handstand and play with lifting one leg and then the other. Or you're going to turn into the wall and have your hands a little further back, so not too close in. And you're going to come to dog down and you're going to lift your heels high, just as you did before. And you're lifting them as high as possible, then you're going to float one leg up and you're just going to start by playing, so you're not really going to focus on balancing. Then try the other leg, <laughs> yeah, have a few goes, one leg and the other. And you'll find that one leg is, is easier. So you're kicking that leg, building a little momentum to get the pelvis up over the shoulders, so that alignment that we had before. And then you might want a little rest. <laughs> We're going to kick the leg up and bring the other leg up to join it. Yeah, have a little play. And then just have a little play around, bring the feet away from the wall. <laughs> and you can have a little wobble. <laughs> and breathe. Uh, the reason I mentioned the breathing is because so often when things are challenging, we hold the breath. That's no good. Yeah, so come back up. Or if you're working in your plank or your half handstand, just to see, can you stay in the posture and breathe? If you want another go, have another go. <clears throat> Play with it, just kicking up, kicking up, yeah? And then, woo, <laughs> you can kick all the way up. Keep your core engaged so you're not just sort of dropping the bottom back into the wall. Have another go. When you've had enough, come onto your backs, hug your knees in, take a nice seat back in here, and let it go. Now let's come into a nice twist. Take the arms wide, place the feet flat. Now exhale, drop the, the knees to one side. And then the other way. Centre, bring the arms down, check your feet are hip width, and we'll just move in and out of a, a bridge, just a couple of rounds. Exhale up. And down. Go again. Allow your body to rest completely now. Notice how you're breathing. Gently roll your head. And introduce a little movement back into the body. Have a really nice stretch. And you can either roll onto one side to come up, or you're going to curl into a little ball and gently rock backwards and forwards, just giving your, your back a little massage. You're going to roll your way up. 
to sit in. Amazing. <laughs> so we're going to finish there today. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, and yeah, practice. Practice it. I will see you guys very soon. Uh, feel free to follow No Rules Yoga and Bliss in Chaos on Instagram. And have a super beautiful day. Take care.